Hi, this is Sherry Veronica and with me in studio today is Patricia Benedict and there was a matter before the court that was dismissed but internal affairs, that's what we call it here in the States when a police officer is being investigated from the internal section of the police department, it's called internal affairs, in Barbados it's called the police service so it seems as though someone from the internal part of the police department is investigating how that particular matter was investigated and Miss Benedict will like the person who's investigating the Amanda Peggy Smith matter and Miss Mary's her part in investigating that particular matter that person is being asked to contact Miss Benedict because she wants to know what the progress is and she wants to give further information on that particular matter but I have Patricia here on the line so I'll let her fill in the blanks Patricia Yes, Miss Veronica, thanks for having me. You're welcome. I I was um a few weeks ago, I think that the the same day when I went to, to find out if Sluggy was charged and Mr Lynch was giving the round around or whatever and I was I was went to the the um the, the what's the name of the place? I went to the court, the court, and I went to the clerk's office when I would come, was coming out. I was walking, I was about to walk past the whole town police station, and this individual individual came and said, "Miss Benedict," and and told me his name. Um, I'll have to look at my notes and stuff before, but told me Miss Benedict. Um, 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 he told me he was investigating a matter that I had I, I had filed again in police complaints. But I, uh, because the reason why they investigating too, I can tell you, is that I sent a lot of com uh, emails to Mr. Richard Boyce uh, about this, and I told him the the, the matter with Amanda Peggy Smith has been dismissed. Um, has they been um, dismissed? Um, Amanda Peggy Smith is a British national. So anyway, he said to me that. He spoke to the Miss Mears. Now, Miss Mears is a police officer um, in 2019. At that time, was in um, Spice Town. He said that she spoke to Miss Mears, and she said she was not the one um, who processed me. And so I said to him, "Well, I'm going to look at my notes, and then I will get back, and and then you can get back to me." So it's been three weeks now. He have not returned. He has not called me. I gave him my number. So I'm giving him my number again, two four seven four eight zero zero. Now let me tell you what happened, Miss Veronica. It's a long story, like I was reading for you, but I'm just concentrating on Miss Mears. The Miss Mears has been investigated. When I was unlawfully um, charged for Amanda Peggy Smith, British National Amanda Peggy Smith. Um, I was processed. I have my notes in front of me at nine a.m. I went on uh, and process. I was processed in um Spice Town, um, Miss Sixteen Seventy Eight Carter Riley, and then another gentleman took me there to have me process. Was there a female officer asked me if I had any tattoos? I'm reading from my notes, two thousand nineteen notes, Miss Veronica. 13th of May 2019 notes about that, 12, 12 to 13th of May. I replied, one on my breast and the other on my tummy. A female officer asked me to lift my dress. I did not feel comfortable for two reasons. Um, the door was open and male officers were passing. One even asked her what I was in there for. I, when, when I had a dress and my panties were showing, I asked her if she had something for me to cover up. I was not comfortable being exposed like that. Her exact words to me were, I, I quote, y'all get yourselves in trouble and feel embarrassed after, and feel embarrassed after? I said to her, allegedly, I asked her for her name after she made the comment, she said, why? To complain for me? 
She refused to tell me her name. I was given a chart on the, the 18th um, July 20, 2019. I was given a chart sheet and um, appeared before Magistrate Wanda Blair. Okay, I went to Spice Town Police Station. The same lady was coming out, Miss Veronica. The one who processed me. I asked to speak to a sergeant. He came out. I asked him for the female officer who just left the building. He asked why. I explained to him what transpired. And he told me her name was Constable Mears, Miss Veronica. So it is the same Mears that um, worked in 2000, May 2019, and she was the one that processed me. Oh, so she's the and one that, so she's the one, oh, yeah, so you, you made a complaint and she's the one that is being investigated internally. They're, they're, they're looking to see what happened in that particular matter. Yes, one out of many. Yes, okay. and, but this particular matter, yeah, this one is the one where someone stopped you and asked you about this one. And he, you don't remember yes. his name, but you gave that particular particular officer your number and via this particular yes. show you're asking him to please get in contact with you maybe in the meanwhile you can go down to police complaints again and see if you can speak to him but yeah but this is an app this is another avenue where you're asking that particular officer to get in contact with you because you want to know the status of that investigation yes it doesn't miss um i had the i, I email and i have to share some very interesting very interesting emails from police complaints or interactions i had police complaints and i did email mr richard boyce uh, commissioner richard boyce i explained to him about that matter being um dismissed um and uh, i went into details about it so they have the files uh, police complaints has the files so they had to what it did the people at police complaints had to, in the process of giving Mr. Um, the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Richard Boyce, all the complaints I have had, um, I've had um, file up there. Okay. All right. Yes, please. Yeah. So that's it. So my te yeah my yeah. telephone number mm -hmm. to the the the, the, the mm -hmm. investigator who is in, in investigating Miss Mears at Spice Town. My telephone number is two four seven four eight zero zero. And to answer your question, when she denied that she wasn't the one, she is the one that processed me in May two thousand and nineteen. I have my notes right in. I have my notes there. And I took a screenshot and I already sent it to Mr. Williams a few weeks ago. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is Sherry Veronica, Naked Departure Radio. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, no, 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 you get your side. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head. You have to put your hands on your head.
social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.